Nah, no, it looks alright. Is it alright? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting like cooled back, but the crocs are essential. Coffee cups essential. They um whiskey's essential. <laughs> Maybe a bit of water, so it's the afternoon on like our second day or something here in Tassie. We're about to kick off and head out to the walls of Jerusalem. We're gonna probably spend two nights out here. If all goes to plan, probably try and get a few K in the Savo and find a camp. If you can see that behind me, there is a shitload of cars here. Probably more than we were actually expecting to see out here. Now we're just putting the final touches on everything. Probably can't see anything in there at all. Hey, feeling mate, ready to go? Ready to rumble, I'm keen. So we're just making our way up the trail. The start's meant to be the hardest. It's not as hard as we predicted. And our bags aren't the heaviest I've ever been. So we're kind of winning. It's almost like this is actually enjoyable. Get a load of this. We just come and found ourselves the first hut along the trail. Dan's or I'll have that one. Fuck, imagine sleeping in your butt. It'd be pretty creepy, I reckon, eh? Yeah, in a storm. <laughs> There's just so much beauty all around us. Coming up here is exactly like the reasons we've come to Tassie. Just absolutely pristine. Check it out. campsite how good's this literally get to choose a platform to sleep on dead set we're not used to this are we monster hotel wise and apparently there's even a toilet here so we're absolutely winning. Okay, so we're tucking into camp. Had to get some warm stuff on. It's gonna get bloody freezing tonight, I'm pretty sure. This is what we're rocking with at the moment. Dan set up on the platform, getting some shots. I'm down here on the on the grass because my tent needs bloody tent pegs to stay down. It doesn't go up on something like this, so. If that's a useful tip for you, buy a tent that can stand up on its own. It could be super handy if you come into Tasmania. Anyway, we've just finished setting up. Um, I think the plan now is we're just gonna try and cruise up about a K or so, and maybe try and get in front of a lake to try and catch any last light we might get for sunset. Couple of lakes, like a few hundred meters ahead. Try and get some shots there for sunset. It looks like all the lights kind of behind us. Heaps of rays over there. It was so goddamn windy and cold. I covered those lakes, so we've just come back down. Cracked a camp, cracked a beer. Always need a beer when you're out sort of camping in the absolute freezing cold. Great. I am. You're just going to enjoy the last bit of uh, light, come up the feed, and then, yeah, 
climb into the sleep bag. It's gonna be a bloody cold one tonight, I think. Good morning. It's, uh, it's about eight o'clock. The alarms are off for sunrise this morning. There was no way I was getting out of this sleeping bag. It was pretty warm for most of the night, um, but my feet started to get pretty cold. And I'm in a minus five sleeping bag. So that's an indication for you. Uh, it was pretty cold last night. I'm even too scared to get up and look outside. And we copped a bit of rain, which was all right. The tent held up okay from what I can gather. I might go outside in a minute, but <laughs> I'm just pretty cozy. Bloody hell, getting out of that tent <laughs> was not a good idea. Just come up and say good morning to Dan and have a look at this because it must have been pretty cold if there's frost all on the ground. Just gonna boil some water get into a coffee and try and warm up as the sun kind of comes up over the mountain hoping it kind of defrosts us a little bit god this is not pleasant <laughs> Proper not motivated to get into today, but we've packed everything up. We've got about a three or four K walk to the next campsite. Where we might do a little detour and check out some of the neighboring mountains. We figured it's probably best to start moving, start walking, and hopefully that'll warm us up a little bit. Righto. Let's do this, brother. country and seeing like a hut that someone built probably like I don't know what it said like 80 odd years ago 70 odd years ago must be an absolute mission to try and get that thing done anyway we've um, pulled into our campsite for the night it's, um, what's this one called Dixon's Dixon's Kingdom Heaps of platforms again to put the tent up on. So I'm gonna show you around because my tent doesn't really like platforms, but uh, these ones seem okay. There's heaps of chains and stuff. Cooking up a bit of a feed. Relaxing. Dan's definitely, relaxing. Um, definitely just poking here. There's no whiskey in front of So yeah, you can see I've kind of just hooked everything up to the chains. The only problem that I really see is that like these side bits on the fly are like a little bit loose but maybe I can get a rock or something to keep that sturdy it's looking good I guess our main concern because the people we've been speaking to so far said it snowed here last night and being up on a platform with holes underneath, we're half worried that it's gonna get pretty freezing in the airflow straight underneath, like onto our backs and everything. It's gonna be pretty cold, so we'll just see what happens when the sun goes down.
you know, just the local Arvo hikes. Nothing too spectacular. We are, I reckon we found a pretty good sunset spot. Like unreal views out to our right. Literally like speechless. So I think we're gonna come back up here for sunset. The weather looks good. We're able to check the weather uh, with a bit of phone reception, which was nice and touch base with everyone back home. Yeah, it's just epic, epic landscapes. And unfortunately, your cameras never do this any, any justice. And we can't fly drones here either. So that kind of sucks. However, it's just nice soaking it in, to be honest. We just have nothing like this back home at all. Fuck, oh, it's wild. So wild. been a thoroughly chill afternoon but we're going to maximize this good weather that we have this harbour. The nice clear skies, the sun's starting to get low so we're just going to get back on our feet and get back up the mountain and try and get some good shots for the sunset. cruised up in plenty of time for sunset so just kicking back watching the view taking it all in and seriously realizing how small we actually are in comparison to this insane landscape sure does give you a bit of perspective on your life <sighs> hopefully the bangers aren't too far away I'll finish his beer we'll take some pics we'll get back down to camp and uh tuck in, hopefully there's no snow up here tonight. <laughs> freezing this morning but well, we have some gnarly conditions We've already got one sick as composition and now I'm just racing down into a valley because there's heaps of fog try to get some reflections of the mountain hopefully it's the lights touching it shortly I don't think I've got much time and I'm running to try and see what Straight into the water, first light touching the peaks. These little moments are what make hiking, sleeping in freezing temperatures, 
eating horrible food and not getting a good night's sleep. It just makes it all worth it. And it makes you completely forget about how shit all those other things are when you get to capture an unreal landscape and it's like natural beauty. This is the kind of stuff that we've come to Tasmania for. I think I'm gonna park up on a rock. I've got some good shots. It's gonna chill. Just, just soak in this view. Well, we certainly had a super successful morning uh, shooting sunrise. The weather has taken a horrible turn. It's all cloudy and disgusting now. So we're very glad to be getting out of here. I've just packed up everything. How you feeling, mate? Let's get out of here. Gonna throw the pack on, get moving. We've got about 12 or so K uh, to get back to the car today. Come back past the hut. That means we've got about 3k to go and we've got to lose about four to 500 meters of elevation. We'll be back to the car. God, I can't wait to get in the car seat. All done. Ticked it off. Three days out in the Tasmanian high country. A few banger shots. I'm gonna knock back this peanut butter bread roll. Met about 15 beers, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon I can go about 15 as well. You know what's happening in the Sabi, I think. Then we're on to the next one. <laughs>